Hi, welcome back. I now you have seen on how to test if the connection was successful and you were able to connect to the database with no errors faced and some of the errors we tried to fix them together. So in this clip, I'm going to show you one of the best uh, thing of PDO as you're going to try to loop over the, the search results of the query results without needing to store the results. So to do that, we need to insert some more data into our database. So let me do that very quick. Insert into um, names uh, first name all right and now we have successfully inserted some of the test data we have to try to do some simple select query from names and you can see that we will be having all three data into our table so we use that to test out so and to continue with that i'm going to create a file and i'm going to 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 call this uh, looping I, i'm going to to do like the pdo loop ping that php and there will be some better plates that we will be using to deal with this as it will be um, uh, in the form of table so i'm going to copy this i will provide this file make sure to check this out and i'm going to paste it in here and i'm going to paste it in here and there will, there will be this uh title let me call this for example let me tell looping avoid storing let me call that for no reason and for the h1 let me call this looping avoid storing results right and when you take a closer look you see that there will be the format for the table and for the styling i used the css simple css when i try to line this out for example let me say i'm on a, or i will use this for example let me call this it was called pdo underscore looping right to to uh, show us this blank table and it's our responsibility to try to call the data in here so as we were saying we will try to use uh, this bunch of codes for example you can use these codes instead of writing that one by one and you try to require once this and you try to catch the exceptions but while we are still in here i can go ahead and write my query to query the database and i can call the variable for the query for example let me call this sql and i will write the query inside here i'm going to say select uh, or our stuff from names order by order by or for example first name right and this this is now the i uh, query that you're going to try to get result from and we don't need to uh, we don't need to store the result but we can do this right away by using the concept or the approach that i'm going to use and where i am in here i can go ahead also and try to catch some of the errors for example if i set uh, to uh, some of the error like this one you wrote the type on and i will proceed with this one to be able also to uh, to output the error so as to be able to know what's going on echo and i'm going to put p like this and I'm going to display the error here and I'm going to cross the P, the paragraph, okay? This is now how we are going to handle the error, okay? So, and to use this, uh, so let me cross the PHP again here. And so to be able to, to, to fetch all the data from the database, we need to make a loop and inside that loop we uh, we uh, put some of the PDO methods so as to be able to fetch the data without having to store the results. So this is how we are going to do it. You will come over under this last th, and I'm going to 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 do some of the PHP tags in here, and I'm going to use the for each loop inside. I'm going to query for the database, and under the, under the database, I'm going to put this, and I'm going to use the query. And inside the query, this is where we are going to pass the parameters for the uh, the SQL or this uh, or this itself, this uh, query itself. And to be able to return there are, there are here, I'm going to use the areas and I'm going to call this as, for example, low. And we are going to do the opening and the closings of the tags. 
uh, but we are make sure that we close we, we remove this and we close the PHP here and we make sure that we close it here that opening brace and in here to be closed when it's a closer look you can see that this will really match this and inside our td this is where now we can store our results and i'm going to call the low i'm going to call php first i'm going to call low i'm going to call for example um first name like this and i will be uh, i will be using this and change for a, a bit of codes to avoid writing this again and again and i'm going to put surname and i'm going to put age here guess what i forgot the semicolon uh, i'm going to put them in here so as to be able to make sure that our things are working as they uh, expected and when you uh, take a closer look is that we were trying to iterate over this as uh, without storing the results so we're going to see it so we're going to see what to give us so when you come back here and refresh you can see that it was not able to to give us anything we can go ahead and check it out you can see that we forgot to put echo as to really have to echo the data from here and you do like this one and you can see that it was able now to fetch our data from database and as you are taking a closer look i didn't store any results here what i did was to create a variable for the query and i used this for each uh, loop inside here and this query uh, method to be able to store the, 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 the results on the go and we store the results as in areas and after the areas we were able to choose between the, fi the files to be displayed on the screen i hope guys you found how this can be used we will continue to uh, chop it up and to increase our scripts as we will be moving on but for now i hope you are getting the uh, idea on how to use these kind of things so let me know if you met with any problem or met with any errors i will be here to help make sure you code along while watching the video and you repeat you know this very easily so i will see you guys in the next one stay cool and peace